and uh, Abuna Maximus Rosella uh, on behalf of uh, all the churches in Mississauga, Oakville and Milton, 11 priests of us would like to say a welcome a, a word about this occasion. Sayedna, this is in honor of our beloved father Angelos on his 25 years of service in Mississauga and the 36th anniversary, or Nisha anniversary, and Your Holiness, Your People, historic visit here to Mississauga. Your Holiness, our beloved Pope Tawadros II, the 118th Pope and Patriarch of the Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria and the Sea of St. Mark, and succeeding the late Pope Shenouda III, and our beloved bishops, and Bemina, Bishop of the Diocese of Mississauga, Vancouver, and Western Canada, and my fathers, the bishops, and my fathers, the priests, and the brothers, the deacons, and our distinguished guests, and our beloved congregation. It is a great honor to have this historic opportunity to speak before your holiness on behalf of my fathers, the priests, and my brothers, the deacons, and the entire congregation to speak in honor of our beloved Hegemen Father Angelo Saad. And for those who don't speak Arabic, Saad means happiness, so I'll say this in Arabic, Ya Saad, Mr. Saga, Babuna Angelo Saad. He is our senior hegemon and our senior pastor who has served us in Mississauga and started many churches in many regions, including Brampton, Hamilton, St. Catherine, Oakville, and Milton. Your Holiness, over the span of 25 years, long and hard years, our beloved Father Angelos, and our beloved Tassoni Sophie <laughs> has been serving and continue to serve us relentlessly. Tonight, we would like to honor them and thank them for their blessed service that has brought forth many fruits that came from many trees which are planted on many lands and fields from east to west and from north to south. Our beloved father, Hegemen Angelos, has established many churches and altars and continues to be a pillar of faith within our Coptic Orthodox Church in Canada. His courageous heart and his spiritual vision has brought us a long way and made us grow over the past 25 years from a congregation of only 100 families to a congregation of over 3,000 families. And we have grown with the grace of God from one altar that was in a small church building to 24 altars in Mississauga and other areas. His strong faith has eliminated many words from his personal English dictionary. Words like money and budget. That's not in his dictionary. <laughs> the many meaningful zeros that's usually on the right hand of a number completely becomes meaningless because it's on the left for Abu Nangelos. Doesn't mean anything. He also eliminated things like problems. Here, there's no problems. There are situations, there is solutions, there is alternatives, and there's options, but there is no problems. Abu Nangelos is a troubleshooter. He solves all the problems. I guess that's an Alexandria trade, Alexandrian trade. A statement like, this is impossible to be done. Well, whatever is impossible to be done is very possible 
to be done in Mississauga. And your holiness, history speaks and attests to that. And we can see that the Royal Bank of Canada, for example, has never left us alone, but has always granted us a loan. <laughs> your holiness, Father Angelos is also a man of prayers. He loves and enjoys and celebrates masses almost daily and always has a sermon in every single mass that always starts with we can't hear it his eyes as al kusuel he always starts with a sermon so that for those who don't speak arabic abuna always starts the sermon with i have a question for you to ask your holiness father angelos is a man of virtues perseverance dedication commitment he's an early bird and he's a night owl he's always out reaching from door to door and ministering to the needs of everyone father angelos is a man that lives over time all the time he lives over time, all the time. Um, he spares no time away from service, not even sparing time to sleep, a proper sleep for three or four hours continuously. Truly, I say, Edna, I do not remember the last time that uh, Abuna Angelos had a vacation that is because every day of his life is a holy day. <laughs> Your Holiness, Father Angeros loves to spiritually crawl, as our late Pope Shenouda used to always comment, that Abuna loves to expand and build churches and facilities using al Zahf al Muqaddas strategy. <laughs> Slowly but surely, likes to expand. Father Angelos, in spite of all the responsibilities that he is carrying, loves not only to manage all things, but to really know all the little details to make sure that things are done in the best possible way. He seldom complains that he is carrying such a heavy load. Whenever we are asked to help in any project, we're always the ones that put the dash of salt on the project. Yani tabkha matbukha already, and Abuna just comes and asks us, just put a dash of salt, meaning everything is ready, and we just do very little, and he does most of the work. Your Holiness, the sacrifices and the achievements that Abuna Angelos has done is beyond imagination. It exceeds the expectations of many. In appreciations, for the service of Abuna Angelos, his leadership, and his fatherlyhood for the past 25 years, we, the Mississaugan priests, we would not have chosen any other gift to present other than the Holy Cross of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, which we as Christians are proud of. Please, Abuna. Abuna Angelos. We are delighted to have your holiness present by your holy hands this gift to our Abu Nangelo Saad.
Father Angelos, may God bless your service under the direction of our beloved Bishop, our Father Amamina, who your holiness has enthroned for us and under the auspices and the prayers of your holiness. May your holiness bless us with your fatherly outreaching visit in Canada and the land of immigration. And may God keep your holiness for us many years to come. Thank you.